so hello and welcome back to the channel and on popular demand i have come to yeah tear down this pmt 60 60000 mah power bank from romos because there was a rumor or there is a rumor that it contains lfp battery so this has a very rugged design but I was able to find out a way how to open it so first pry open from the side the cover and it is there so let's unscrew it so there are one two three four screws there and it should give its internals open some more screws and a connector and a very small main power cables or battery connectors yeah and to open it the handle needs to come out yeah so handle is now out and let's see how it can come out again yeah it seems that i cannot take it out or it will be difficult without desoldering the main battery cables connectors can come out but cables needs to be desolders let's see yeah same screws are also on the back side and let me take out one by one okay so now these are unscrewed and it has a plastic shell which i believe can be taken out and before soldering what can be seen from naked eyes it says romos pmt60 battery in 4s configuration oh, pcb design seems to be from 12th may 2023 well, i will check the voltage since it is at around 100 percent it should have 3.6 by 5 multiplied by 4 voltage so the voltage is 13.31 which approximates to you can say for s configuration h 12 volt 12 plus uh, 65 multiplied by 4 is again 2.4 volt so it should be around 14 volts but it is not but this uh, signals in the direction that these are lfp batteries because if around 100 percent all the batteries should have been around 4 volt and it the total voltage would have been around 16 or 15 point something since the charger or the power bank is at 100 percent and the total voltage is 13.3 which is 2 volt less which again cannot be a, a lithium ion batteries but lfp batteries oh now i removed the main batteries now the connectors and this is the connection part and let's see what kind of chipset it has so and with this we can see there are two inductors and it has two ER chip M12269 and the usual indicator inductors and this seems to be the balance board I will now check the individual cells um, 
the first cell it is 3.32 3.33 the second cell 3.332 Third cell, 3.333, and the fourth cell. Three point three three three, three three four. So together it is thirteen point three one. I would say, not three two. Yeah. Now I will see if it has what else does it has? I can see one NTC, some MOSFETs and something for balancing. Yeah, now let's try to take it out of its shell. Good. Now next step is to take out the LED cover and then it should come out. Okay, so the packing seems to be sturdy. So then with a lot of locks, you have these big batteries and we can see what kind of batteries are there. There are only four pieces. I will now try to take out these gobs of glue. So the markings can be read. And there it is. 32140FS, 48 watt hour, 3.2 volts each. So the capacity of 192 watt hour matches with this capacity, which says 48 multiplied by 4 is 192 which according to google is a t-max battery which has its products yeah 3.2 volt 15h battery yeah. and we can see so its cycle life is 3500 so 3500 cycles at the given capacity or the given conditions yeah so and each cell weighs around 300 grams so four cells in this edge around yeah 1.2 kilo which is quite heavy and it is big so i would say that the rumors are correct and it has lfp batteries inside and the chipset used M12269 is capable of delivering 140 watts but why is it only limited to 100 watts I don't know and according to this website it can max 140 watts is the input output and can have 3 to 8 strings it seems that then yeah because it has only 4 cells then it is limited to 100 watts these are the protocols supported and it can withstand the voltage of 48 volts under and over voltage over current protection yeah so that's it for the tear down of this uh, romos pmt60 power bank if you have liked this video subscribe like and share thanks for watching and
टिल नेक्स्ट ईयर टाउन एंड ट्रिपी वीडियो थैंक्स